Welcome to the Premier League Western Supermare. We are massively overachieving here. I didn't think we'd get up from a championship last year. I thought we'd be there for a couple of seasons. You know, then push forward. Since we were predicted and finished nowhere near promotion, to finish top of the league, it's fantastic. But now it's a whole different kettle of fish. This is the Premier League. There is no easy games in the Premier League. But we are not here just to make up the numbers. We are here to compete. And we've spent some money to do it. Transfers out and our biggest transfer out is Terence Miles. He has gone off to Saudis. He's joined Al Riyadh for 13 million. Picked him up on a free transfer three years ago. Sold him for 13 million. He's gone over there. Earned himself some big money. He's done, he was fantastic for us. 123 appearances, nine goals. And that is only out apart from free transfers and contracts. And yet again, we have bought in some players. Yet again, it's 16 players. Some people are going to start calling me Chelsea for these players. But we needed quality and depth. And most of them are under 21, so they haven't got to be registered for the league. They can play. So, ideal. Everyone gets game time. Everyone improves. The first one through the door is 19-year-old Kamal Mia. Bought from Barnsley for three or 3.3 million after they signed him for Liverpool the season before. A good League One left back potential of a Championship standard, but I just needed I just need cover in that in the left back quality in depth basically. Next up is Harrison Parker, signed from Luton Town for three of 7.75 million. A centre back. Six foot two, he's quick. Okay, it says League One, but could be a decent league there. Uh, but could be a decent Premier League there. He's valued at a 13 million. He has played three games already for us. He's done well. And he scored a goal. We then spent 16 million in installments on Matthew Gibbons from Leicester, the 22 year old right back slash defender. He's now valued at a 50 million. It's a good sign in. He's Potential. He is a good championship player, but can be a good Premier League player as well. Then we found this little gem, Steve Bailey. 21 years old, a right attacking midfielder. He's decent. Unfortunately, he's injured at the moment. Signed for 2.9 million from AGF in Denmark. Four goals, one assist. So unfortunately, he is carrying a knock and he's out for a couple of days. But nothing serious. Potentially Premier League standard, which is that's what we're looking for. That's what we need. Lawson Danby is next in left back. Great mentals. Okay, physicals. Okay, technicals. He's only 20 years old. League One player standard at the moment, but potential to be a Premier League um, standard in the future. Signed for 12.5 million from Nottingham Forest. Let's get this clear. All my transfers are installments, so I am paying more in the future. As well as to get settled in the Premier League so we get the money. That's what we need, the money. Money, 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 money. 8.5 million was spent on Matthew Hunter, a 20-year-old right attacking midfielder. Can play centre mid as well, but I'll well, keep him on the right. Our scouts think he is a three-star League One player, potential be championship. I just can't see it. I, see, I possibly be getting him in more. I haven't started the game yet, but a lot of money spent on someone who haven't played. 10 million was spent on Ben Carroll, another left-back from Plymouth. We signed him from Sheffield Wednesday for 1.4 million the season before and barely played. I think I'm gonna have my pants down for this one. But has the potential to be a Premier League player if we give him enough time. And that's what we got. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give all these players enough time. Just make sure we get stay away from relegation. Now some people might remember this guy. We've had him in before on loan. We've now signed him on a permanent deal. Dennis Akafa, the 21-year-old winger. He was on loan from Everton a couple of seasons ago. We have signed him for a fee of 18.25 million installments. Paid up 2 million up front and we paid the rest of it installments over, over a couple of years. He looks fantastic. He will definitely be a player that's here for a while. Nicholas Harris is our first free transfer and he's a decent free transfer in all fairness. Released by Chelsea. He has played four games already for us. He do well at 20 years old. Potential of being a Premier League player. Jordan Thompson is another free transfer that we signed Released by Aston Villa, a DM, it do well. I think this is an absolute bargain for 4.2 million. O'Malley Kellyman from Leicester. He's a good, can 
striker, winger, wherever you want to be. He is good at it. 1.2 from Leicester. That one we did pay out all money. Mind you, Leicester was signed of 1.5 season before. But yeah, he's going to do well. 24 years old, still got potential to be a Premier League player. Callum Odenusi, a centre midfielder, signed from Tottenham for a fee of 2.5 million. A decent championship player, will be a decent Premier League player. Everything we want is there. He just needs the game time to mature, get better. And so far he is. He's played four games, scored one goal. Now, being in the Premier League, it is crucial to have a solid, solid goalkeeper. Now, Cox did well last year, but he wasn't he wasn't my Ted Curd. He wasn't my I can rely on you sort of thing. But on a free transfer released by Manchester City, we bought him Spike Brits. What a goalkeeper he is. He's a free transfer. He's in, I thought he, for some reason I thought he was American. Don't know why I thought he was American, but Spike Brits is English, a decent Premier League player already, and has potential to get better. He is definitely going to be my number one this season. And our last sign-in, and it did cost me quite a bit, £20 million from Crystal Palace, Horace Griffin, a right-back that has bags and bags of potential. I hit the player, so he hasn't even just signed. That's probably why. So squad-wise now, as you can see, it's full of bags of potential, which we want. Okay, I can't believe it. it's okay. It's, we've got some good players there. But I think over the course of the season, if we play them all, then game time, potential is fantastic. We can, they get better. They get better with every game we play. And if I pick my best 11, this is what we get. Brits comes in, Parker goes in, Gibbons goes in. Mian goes in, Harris goes in, pretty much most of the players that we have signed go into that squad. With Giles and Kellerman, don't worry, Sunak Belt is still here and he has scored a goal in the Premier League, which means he has scored in every league that he has played for with us. A free transfer, National League, League 2, League 1, Champions and Premier League. Five different divisions that we've been in, he has scored goals for us. And he's still not valued very high, but he's going to be great. You know, he's been, he is part of the furniture now, five years at the club. Jude, Sunak Belt. What a free signing he's been. This has happened schedule-wise. First game of the season, we smash Sunderland 6-0 at home. And then we were brought back down to earth with a 3-0 defeat to Spurs. Not too bad about that, not too okay. Here's Spurs, one of the big teams, are going to be beating us. Beating on the forest, 3-1. Do you not know getting two, two late goals, but it's still bad. They all count. Beat Pompey in the uh, EFL Cup. And then we just beat Norwich 3-0. So currently, we are sitting second... A point behind Liverpool. It's madness. It's crazy. We are sitting second a point behind Liverpool. Right, we only played four games. Let's not get too excited, okay? The main spot... Arsenal are bottom. Whoa. Arsenal are bottom. You've only played four games. Right, we only played four games. Arsenal are bottom. That's, it's going to change massively. It's going to change massively. If we can finish 17th, that is success in my book because Premier League money is going to help the club. Eventually, we'll get a new stadium or build a new stadium because we're only holding 5,000. The bookmakers have us 1,000 to 1 to win the Premier League and they predict us to finish bottom. It boils my blood. It boils my blood when that sort of thing happens. On current form, we're heading for Europe next season and then, oh, no, we're not. We're too far. I'd be too far ahead of us. Let's just consolidate what we got. Let's just stay in the Premier League this season. Hey, 17th is good, which means we can build on what we got. We keep all our players. We add one or two next season, and we go again. We give them all the game time, and eventually they will all be scouted as Premier League players. So, without further ado, let's simulate this season in the Premier League and see where we finish. We started off with a 3-0 win against Tottenham in the EFL Cup before beating Leeds 3-2 in a classic. But to go with the penalty for Leeds in the third minute, brought well, Amari Kellerman in the 14th minute made it 1-1 at half-time. It was 2-1 just after half-time with Stuart scored an own goal. And then Matthew Gibbons made it 3-1 in the 72nd minute. The rumbo for Leeds got them a second goal in the 80th minute, put a bit of squeaky bum, but we held on. Liverpool came to the seed side and left with only a point. Nicholas Harris in the 24th minute, giving us the lead. And we were thinking, here we go, we're going to get one of the big boys here. We're going to beat them. 
But in the 80th minute, Trevor Chalabar got Liverpool's equaliser and the points were shared. And at this early stage in the league, we are sitting in third place. Just two points off Chelsea. Surely we can't do it again. We went to the Emirates and lost 2-0 to Manchester City. Erlen Haaland got Man City underway in the 59th minute with a great strike, even though he was injured. And then fellow week of a birthday in the 87th minute wrapped up scoring for Man City. And what a comeback this was to beat Chelsea 4-2 at home. Walker in the 8th minute got Chelsea scoring underway. For Tobias Haber in the 28th minute made it 2-0. In the 32nd minute, Tuna Bell got one back, so it was 2-1 at half time. But Callum Olisi made it 2-2 in the 52nd minute. Three minutes later, Kellyman got on the score sheet, making it 3 2 Weston. And then in the 77th minute, Sunup Bell got his second and gave all three points to Weston. We then lost 3 1 to Everton in the EFL fourth round. But in the league, we are still sitting second, two points behind Chelsea after playing some of the big boys this month. We didn't get off a coach against Newcastle, I'm not going to lie, didn't turn up. We turned up against Arsenal, losing 2 1. Dick in the 21st minute gave us a 1-0 lead with this finish. Before Gabriel Jesus in the 67th minute got us to level. And then 6 minutes from time, Havertz got Arsenal's winner and they win 2-1. We then beat Burnley 2-0. Amari Kellerman in the 16th minute opening the scoring. What a signing he has been. Before Nicholas Harris, just before the hour mark, made it 2 0, and all three points are ours. But we have slightly dropped down the league now, now sitting in seventh place, and a nine point gap to Chelsea. We had a 1 0 draw against West Ham, a 2 1 defeat against Aston Villa, losing 1 0 at home to Manchester United for a Lorenzo Barrera goal in the 50th minute. But then we smashed Fulham at Craven Cottage 6 1. Soon up Bell in the third minute got a score and underway. Steve Bailey made it 2 0 in the sixth minute. In the 20th minute, Harrison Parker got on the score sheet. It was 4 when Malcolm Giles got on the score sheet in the 31st. It was 5 when Bailey got his second in the 38th minute. And 6 in the 43rd when Giles got his second. Peter Jonathan did get a consolation for Fulham in the 63rd. And we are sitting just outside the European slots on 32 points after 19 games. Great half so far. We scraped past QPR in the third round of the FA Cup before smashing out on the Forest 5 now. And in the FA Cup, it was an absolute cracker. 4 3 win against Burnley. Harrison Parker opened the score in the 22nd minute. For Tyler Morton made it 1 0 in 28th. Sunup Bell got us a lead in the 30th minute. Before Lyle Foster made it 2 2 at half time. He got a second in the 58th minute. For Kellerman got our oh, equaliser a minute later. And then the 81st minute, Nicholas Harris got the winner and purchased food to the fifth round of the FA Cup. And we are still sitting eighth in the league, just outside European qualification. We lost 2-1 to Brentford before beating Man City 2-1 at home. Horace Griffiths from the penalty spot in the 23rd minute before Paul Warner in the 47th minute got Man City's equaliser. But in the 94th minute, Amari Kellerman does this to give us all three points. But then they smashed us 4-0 in the FA Cup fifth round. At least in the first minute. Great strike for Bradley Morton in the 10th minute, making it 2. He made it 3 in the 39th minute. And at this stage, we just couldn't catch him. Couldn't do nothing against him. And Jeremy Doku in the 45th plus 4 made it 4-0 at halftime. And that is how it ended. And we have dropped down a place now. We're now in ninth place in the league. We lost 2-0 to Arsenal at the Emirates before Amari Kellerman hat-trick against Bournemouth 
was enough to give us all three points. He opened the score in the 25th minute with a great strike. He then got a second in the 76th minute. Before rounding up his hat trick in the 90th plus 7th minute. A lot of engine time in this game. We got off the bus against Newcastle, Drew for real. And we are now miles behind any European success this season. Ninth place. We lose 2 1 to West Ham at home. Stefanos Tismas in the 11th minute got scoring underway in this one. Giving West Ham the lead. We got an equalizer for Callum Alusi in the 24th minute. Before Stefanos to this match in the 32nd minute, made it 2 1 for half time, and all three points go to West Ham. We beat Crystal Palace 2 1, and a 2 2 draw against Aston Villa with Sunup Bell getting a brace. His first goal came in the 28th minute. Quick free kick. Before Yuri Chomenko in the 60th minute, made it 1 1. In the mighty plus three minutes, Sunup Bell thought he won it for us, getting this goal. But then a minute later, Krangard, where Aston Villa got goal and all points were shared and I tell you what I'll take a mid place finish a 1-0 win against Wolves and yet again soon up Bell was on the score sheet after a mistake from the Wolves defender and 0-0 at Old Trafford we take that all day and the last game of the season we beat Fulham 2-0 Amari Kellerman in the 13th minute got a score underway in this one Before a Wayne Wenneck own goal, just after the hour mark, grab all three points up. Well, I count that as a very successful season. Not relegated. That's all we had to do was not get relegated. We had our ups and downs, it's gonna happen. We beat teams we shouldn't be beating, and we lost heavily in some other teams. But we are a young squad, and experience will do the play as well, and the game time should improve them as well. We do finish in ninth spot. No European competitions, it's fine. We didn't want Europe yet anyway. We don't need Europe yet. 16 wins. Some big wins there as well. Beating Man City 2-1 at home. Smashing on the Forest 5-0. Beating Wolves 6-1. Seven draws, a draw at away to Old Trafford. What a result that is. And a draw at home to Liverpool. I think we're surprising a couple of the teams with the draws we got. And... 15 defeats. The biggest one was an 8-1 against away to Newcastle. But we did go down with 10 men very early. Chelsea win the league in the end on 83 points. Man City second. Man out of third. Newcastle fourth. Liverpool and Tottenham are so far in, are in the European places. 55 points. 19 points clear of relegation. And only what? And 9 points off a European spot. It's a great season. Overall, it's a great season. We don't have anyone in the goals or average ratings, but we do have Sunup Bell with seven player of the matches, finishing in third. No assist-wise, yellow cards, we have two here, Tyler Ashcroft and Callum Olusi. 12 and 11 yellow cards. But we did well. Did very, very well. FA Cup, we were knocked out in the fifth round against Manchester City 4-0 at the Emirates. And the final is next we played against Man City Chelsea. And we were knocked out in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup at Everton 3-1. It's fine. We will win one of these cups. We have to win one of these cups, really. Squad-wise, Sunup Bell getting himself 20 goals in the Premier League is absolutely fantastic. Six assists. Gets slightly better as well. What a season he has had. What a player he is. Amari Kellyman getting 18 goals and 32 appearances with three assists. Nicholas Harris with 10 goals and 43 appearances and seven assists. Look at how you're getting on. He's improving, which is good. Dick Ahadali with four goals, four assists. Callum Alisi with four goals and three assists. We didn't score many goals. Steve Bailey was our top assist with uh, nine. Dennis McCarver with nine assists. Terrell Ashcroft with nine assists. Seven from Harris. Kevin Best from Defender with five. But it's a tough, hard season, which I expected. We just need now to stabilize what we got keep the players we got and then add a couple of more players and to do that we do have 43 million we are being backed by the board they have got some money to give us the 43 million 
with a wage budget of 66 grand. If we can get an extra player in each position, then, you know, just a bit of competition is always good. Players have bags of potential with game time will improve. At the moment, there is no plans to extend the stadium. I think we need to. That's our next big thing. It's only holding 5,700. And we sell about every week. If we can get a bigger stadium, it's going to cost a lot of money. But if we can buy a new stadium or build a bigger stadium, then we get more money back in the club, especially if we're going to be staying in the Premier League for a couple of seasons. But overall, I would say that is a massive, massive successful season. Finishing a ninth when we predicted to finish bottom. Burnley, Wolves and Sunderland were relegated. Chelsea win the league. And we go on from next season. We build on what we've got. Hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please smash the like button. Comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. It would be much appreciated. And until next time, guys, make sure you look after yourself. And I'll see you all very, very soon for another season in the Premier League. Toodles.